Here at five things that are going to get your day started. A man is facing charges after police say he shot another man in Westbrook. They say it happened on Mechanic Street about 530 yesterday. The victim was taken to the hospital and has since been released. Police did eventually arrest Brandon McClaskey. They took him to the Cumberland County Jail. McClaskey is facing assault and weapons charges. Police do not know or at least have not said what led up to that shooting. A truck driver is facing several charges after crashing into a state police cruiser in Kittery. Johnny Rogers of New York is charged with distracted driving and breaking Maine's slow down move over law. Police say he drifted onto the shoulder of the turnpike yesterday where a state trooper was helping the driver of another broken down tractor trailer. They say after hitting the cruiser, Rogers veered back into the travel lanes and hit a Jeep. Police say everyone involved was taken to the hospital, but everyone is expected to be OK. The Lewiston Police Department is investigating a hidden camera that was found in a bathroom at Bates College. The Bates student newspaper reports a custodial staff member found a camera in a dorm bathroom earlier this month. The dean of the college says an employee likely put the camera there. That person has been placed on leave. No names have been released. College staff have not found any other cameras in any other bathrooms. You won't need to show a COVID-19 test result to get into Canada soon as long as you're vaccinated. The change goes into effect on April 1st. Right now, everyone who crosses the border into Canada has to show a negative rapid test. As of now, when you come back into the U.S., you will still need to show a test result regardless of vaccination status. Three counties in Maine are getting some help recovering from last year's floods. President Biden granted a disaster declaration for Knox, Waldo and York counties. You might remember they all had to deal with that flash flooding during a storm at the end of October. That disaster declaration will provide funding now to state agencies and local governments to help offset the cost of the repairs that were needed. Final check of the weather on the St. Patty's Day. Yeah, going to be a good one. High temperature around 50. We get a couple of showers tonight and then back to warm stuff tomorrow with developing sun. Weekend storm, cold rain. A uh, little bit of mountain snow, a little snow across far northern Maine. But this one's looking wet and scattered showers linger on Sunday too. We get back to more sunshine early next week. It's definitely going to be feeling colder. We haven't had any wind this week. Next week we get some wind and because of that, I think the temps are going to feel on the chilly side. Okay. Right, we had talked about the three of us dancing for you to end the show, but we decided to yeah. let the professionals do right. it. So enjoy, get out there, have a great St. Patrick's Day and be safe everybody. Take care.